Teletubbies. As four colourful creatures join us from their grass landscaped world, it's another episode of the CBBC kids show, Teletubbies. So popular, it's been aired across the world since the 90s in no less than 45 different languages, not including the weird one that the stars speak in. <laughs> they're not teddy bears, but they're not like aliens. They're some kind of hybrid. With weird things on their heads, they've got screens in their bellies, they run around and they speak gibberish. But after winning multiple awards, this bright and bonkers creation starring Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La and Poe must be doing something right. It's not meant to make sense to us. It's meant to make sense to uh, babies and toddlers. There was lots of new ways in that show that were created to engage with very, very, very young viewers. Every programme would usually feature a moment when something magical happened which was indicated by a windmill, which then threw out magic rays. And it'd be something nice and fluffy, like baby rabbits or something. But in one episode from 1997, they decided to go for something a bit fiercer. I'm the bear. I'm the bear. A bear came in, and it looked like it was on like a skateboard. It was like gliding around. I'm the bear. I'm the bear. With brown fuzzy hair. I'm sure they have fur, not hair. I'll hide over here. <laughs> and I'll hide over there. And this bear is sort of appearing here and disappearing behind bushes and then appearing on a hill far away. Can you see me? Which I guess is, is playful, but a little bit odd. <laughs> but as the blue skies clouded over, the mood changed from playful to petrifying. The music changes, it's got this like howling wind. The clouds start to move really fast and the, the, yeah, the trees start to shake. It's like someone's opened a portal to some kind of hell dimension within Tummy Tummy Land. Then you have this real scary roar. And then a lion came in. I'm a scary lion. As a matter of fact, I'm scary around the front. And I'm scary around the back. I'm scary around the back. I bet you are, mate. And what's with the northern accent? Come on, northerners aren't scary. Eventually, the scary lion decides it's time to reveal his actual agenda. I am the scary lion. And I'm looking for the bear. It's getting a bit real. I'm looking over here. And I'm looking over there. This is getting horrific. <laughs> it's a proper behind the cushion moment. Why is this happening on Teletubbies? Preschool viewers were left to their own imaginations as to what may have happened next. Perhaps the lion caught the bear and then, I don't know, tore it to shreds. Or did it? Four-year-olds went to sleep that night wondering, did the bear survive? What does it mean for me? Will I get ripped apart by a lion? A backlash ensued from angry parents who took to sites like Mumsnet to complain that their traumatised tots were wetting themselves even more than usual. I can understand why certain children found it to be quite nightmarish. It's no surprise that a lot of parents complained. This is a children's TV production. It shouldn't be this scary. The story found its way into the papers and led to some countries not including the sequence at all. A certain generation of American and Chinese children have never seen The Lion and the Bear. This episode was banned in America, and that's saying something, because that's a country where a kid can buy a gun. <laughs> and in the UK, producers were under pressure to re-edit the episode, so it'd be far less scary whenever it was repeated. 